Open Defecation, Wikipedia Article Audio Open defecation is the human practice of defecating outside, in the open environment. People may choose fields, bushes, forests, ditches, canals or other open space for defecation. They do so because either they do not have a toilet at home or due to traditional cultural practices. Even if toilets are available, behavior change efforts may still be needed to promote the use of toilets. The practice is common where sanitation infrastructure is not available. Background Use of the term Open defecation Open defecation free Reasons Factors related to not having access to any type of toilet Factors related to not having access to a comfortable, safe toilet Factors that are unrelated to toilet infrastructure Prevalence Data by Joint Monitoring Program Impacts Public Health Safety of Women Prevention Integrated Initiatives Simple Sanitation Technology Options Toilet Bags Bucket Toilets and Urine Diversion Country Examples India Society and Culture Media Legal Status Public defecation for other reasons About 892 million people, or 12% of the global population, practice open defecation. 76% of the 892 million people practicing open defecation in the world live in just seven countries. India is the country with the highest number of people practicing open defecation, around 525 million people. The term open defecation is used in literature about water, sanitation, and hygiene. Open defecation can pollute the environment and cause health problems. High levels of open defecation are linked to high child mortality, poor nutrition, poverty, and large disparities between rich and poor. Ending open defecation is an indicator being used to measure progress towards the Sustainable Development Goal No. 6. Extreme poverty and lack of sanitation are statistically linked. Therefore, eliminating open defecation is thought to be an important part of the effort to eliminate poverty. Defecating in the open is a very ancient practice. In ancient times, there were more open spaces and less population pressure on land. It was believed that defecating in the open causes little harm when done in areas with low population, forests, or camping-type situations. With development and urbanization, open defecating started becoming a challenge and thereby an important public health issue, and an issue of human dignity. With the increase in population in smaller areas, such as cities and towns, more attention was given to hygiene and health. As a result, there was an increase in global attention towards reducing the practice of open defecation. Open defecation perpetuates the vicious cycle of disease and poverty and is widely regarded as an affront to personal dignity. The countries where open defecation is most widely practiced have the highest numbers of deaths of children under the age of 5, as well as high levels of undernutrition, high levels of poverty, and large disparities between the rich and poor. The term open defecation became widely used in the water, sanitation, and hygiene sector from about 2008 onwards. This was due to the publications by the Joint Monitoring Program for Water Supply and Sanitation and the UN International Year of Sanitation.
The JMP is a joint program by WHO and UNICEF to monitor the water and sanitation targets of the Sustainable Development Goal No. 6. For monitoring purposes, two categories were created, one improved sanitation and unimproved sanitation. Open defecation falls into the category of unimproved sanitation. This means that people who practice open defecation do not have access to improved sanitation. In 2013 World Toilet Day was celebrated as an official UN Day for the first time. The term open defecation was used in high-level speeches, that helped to draw global attention to this issue. Open defecation free is a phrase first used in community-led total sanitation programs. ODF has now entered use in other contexts. The original meaning of ODF stated that all community members are using sanitation facilities instead of going to the open for defecation. This definition was improved and more criteria were added in some countries that have adopted the CLTS approach in their programs to stop the practice of open defecation. The Indian Ministry of Drinking Water and Sanitation has in mid-2015 defined ODF as the termination of fecal oral transmission, defined by here. Safe technology option means toilets that contain feces so that there is no contamination of surface soil, groundwater, or surface water. Flies or animals do not come in contact with the open feces. No one handles excreta. There is no smell and there are no visible feces around in the environment. This definition is part of the Swak Bharat Abhyan. The reasons for open defecation are varied. It can be a voluntary, semi-voluntary, or involuntary choice. Most of the time, a lack of access to a toilet is the reason. However, in some places even people with toilets in their houses prefer to defecate in the open. A few broad factors that result in the practice of open defecation are listed below. In developed countries, open defecation is considered to be a part of voluntary, recreational outdoor activities in remote areas. It is difficult to estimate how many people practice open defecation in these communities. But is also of very little public health, environmental and human dignity concern. The situation is very different in developing and less developed countries and communities where open defecation is of high public health and development concern. The practice of open defecation is strongly related to poverty and exclusion particularly, in case of rural areas and informal urban settlements. The Joint Monitoring Program for Water Supply and Sanitation of UNICEF and WHO has been collecting data regarding open defecation prevalence worldwide. The figures are segregated by rural and urban areas and by levels of poverty. This program is tasked to monitor progress towards the Millennium Development Goal relating to drinking water and sanitation. As open defecation is one example of unimproved sanitation, it is being monitored by JMP for each country and results published on a regular basis. The figures on open defecation used to be lumped together with other figures on unimproved sanitation but are collected separately since 2010. In recent years, the number of people practicing open defecation fell from 20% in 2000 to 12% in 2015. Those 892 million people with no sanitation facility whatsoever continue to defecate in gutters, behind bushes, or in open water bodies, with no dignity or privacy. Most people who practice open defecation live in rural areas, but the vast majority lives in two regions. 76% of the 892 million people practicing open defecation in the world live in just seven countries.
India is the country with the highest number of people practicing open defecation, around 525 million people. This makes 40% of the total Indian population including 7% of urban dwellers and 56% of villagers. About 59% of people in the world practicing open defecation live in India. Further countries with a high number of people openly defecating are Nigeria, followed by Indonesia, Ethiopia, Pakistan, Niger, and Sudan. The negative public health impacts of open defecation are the same as those described when there is no access to sanitation at all. Open defecation and lack of sanitation and hygiene in general is an important factor that cause various diseases, the most common being diarrhea and intestinal worm infections but also typhoid, cholera, hepatitis, polio, trachoma, and others. In 2011, infectious diarrhea resulted in about 0.7 million deaths in children under 5 years old and 250 million lost school days. It can also lead to malnutrition and stunted growth among children. Certain diseases are grouped together under the name of waterborne diseases, which are diseases transmitted via fecal pathogens in water. Open defecation can lead to water pollution when rain flushes feces that are dispersed in the environment into surface water or unprotected wells. Open defecation was found by the WHO in 2014 to be a leading cause of diarrheal death. An average of 2,000 children under the age of 5 die every day from diarrhea. Young children are particularly vulnerable to ingesting feces of other people that are lying around after open defecation, because young children crawl on the ground, walk barefoot, and put things in their mouths without washing their hands. Feces of farmed animals are equally a cause of concern when children are playing in the yard. Those countries where open defecation is most widely practiced have the highest numbers of deaths of children under the age of five, as well as high levels of malnourishment, high levels of poverty and large disparities between rich and poor. Research from India has shown that detrimental health impacts are even more significant from open defecation when the population density is high the same amount of open defecation is twice as bad in a place with a high population density average like India versus a low population density average like sub-Saharan Africa. There are also strong gender impacts, the lack of safe, private toilets makes women and girls vulnerable to violence and is an impediment to girls' education. Women are at risk of sexual molestation and rape as they search for places for open defecation that are secluded and private, often during hours of darkness. Having to defecate in the open takes its toll on human safety and dignity. The loss of privacy is particularly pointed for women and girls in developing countries. They face the shame of having to defecate in public so often wait until nightfall to relieve themselves. They risk being attacked after dark, though it means painfully holding their bladder and bowels all day. Women in developing countries increasingly express fear of assault or rape when having to leave the house after dark. Reports of attacks or harassment near or in toilet facilities as well as near or in areas where women defecate openly, are common. There are several drivers used to eradicate open defecation, one of which is behavior change. Sani foam is a conceptual framework which was developed specifically to address issues of sanitation and hygiene. Using focus, opportunity, ability and motivation as categories of determinants, Sani foam model identifies barriers to latrine adoption while simultaneously serving as a tool for designing, monitoring and evaluating sanitation interventions. The following are some of the key drivers used to fight against open defecation in addition to behavior change. 
Efforts to reduce open defecation are more or less the same as those to achieve the MDG target on access to sanitation. A key aspect is awareness raising, behavior change campaigns, increasing political will as well as demand for sanitation. Community-led total sanitation campaigns have placed a particular focus on ending open defecation by triggering the communities themselves into action. Political will, sanitation solutions that offer a better value than open defecation, stronger public sector local service delivery systems, creation of the right incentive structures. As India has such a high number of people practicing open defecation, various Indian government-led initiatives are ongoing to reduce open defecation in that country. It began as the Total Sanitation Campaign, which was relaunched as Nirmal Bharat Abhiyan in 2012 and integrated into the wider Swak Bharat Abhiyan in 2014. Also in 2014, UNICEF began a multimedia campaign against open defecation in India, urging citizens to take their POO to the loo. There are some simple sanitation technology options available to reduce open defecation prevalence if the open defecation behavior is due to not having toilets in the household and shared toilets being too far or too dangerous to reach, e.g., at night. People might already use plastic bags at night to contain their feces. However, a more advanced solution of the plastic toilet bag has been provided by the Swedish company Peepupal who are producing the Peepu bag, a personal, single-use, self-sanitizing, fully biodegradable toilet that prevents feces from contaminating the immediate area as well as the surrounding ecosystem. This bag is now being used in humanitarian responses, schools, and urban slums in developing countries. Bucket toilets are a simple portable toilet option. They can be upgraded in various ways, one of them being urine diversion which can make them similar to urine diverting dry toilets. Urine diversion can significantly reduce odors from dry toilets. Examples of using this type of toilet to reduce open defecation are the M.O. San toilet or the urine diverting dry toilet promoted by Soil in Haiti. The mainstream media in some affected countries have recently been picking up on this issue of open defecation, for example, in India and Pakistan. In certain jurisdictions, Open or public defecation is a criminal offense which can be punished with a fine or even imprisonment.